Have you ever found yourself in a situation where the words acceptable casualties flies at you? Maybe in a big war movie or some Call of Duty game. But you know where those two words appear when triggering the cringe button? That's right. Dungeons and Dragons. So about a year ago, I was hosting a mega campaign. Essentially, it's five campaigns connected together to form one overarching storyline with different generations of characters changing everything as they go. I spent years tweaking and improving it, and it's a bit of my personal pet project. Now, I had a group running through this grimdark steampunk setting, and they were loving it. However, we had one individual that has forever left the group with PTSD when it comes to anything even remotely elephant-shaped. We had a Loxodon who took a homebrew class I've been and tweaking, a class called Branded, where essentially it's like a barbarian but more destructive, and you can start with a cannon. I like seeing things explode in the game, what can I say? Now this player had taken this class and was in love with his cannon. It was high damage, but had a big chance to misfire, and he wasn't exactly accurate with it. The problem was, in a group of squishy casters and rogue DPS types, he was meant to be the front liner, but instead always stayed in the back and absolutely decimated groups of enemies with a giant cannon he used as a mortar. Should I have allowed this as a DM? abso fucking lootly I follow the rule of cool above all else. Yes, an athletics in 5e is needed for grappling, and yes, you can only move 30 feet, dashing is 60. I'm not breaking core rules, but if a giant elephant man wants to use an improvised cannon as a mortar, I say go for it but it quickly grew into a problem when the party found themselves against a bunkered enemy. See, in this steampunk world, I designed a bunch of new weapons that really hit with one hell of a punch because, well, getting shot hurts. Only the deepest, most galaxy brain levels of scientific knowledge is permitted on this channel. So I had guns do more damage, and thus the party found an enemy assassin that set up what was basically an anti-material rifle in an apartment complex with a bunch of NPC civilians. So this assassin was hunkered down, had the hide advantage, and the party was stuck in narrow streets with a bottleneck in front of them. They tried to find ways around the situation by climbing rooftops, but retreat wasn't really an option as their goal was dead ahead, and if this assassin got away, who knows what he would have done. Also, the four D12 this assassin was rolling meant that the gun was very high tier loot, and our gunslinger desperately wanted the gun so he could turn his enemies into a very fine red mist. So the fight continued. Then we heard it. An explosion. Followed by screams. And the party saw part of the apartment complex get turned into dust. The Loxdon player was hammering the assassin's position with mortar strikes, and it went a little something like this. What the fu- I look away for two seconds, which of you is blowing up the building? Hey. I've got range on him, plus this mortar does big damage. Trust me, okay? You're missing every single shot. You're hitting like NPCs, like randos that we don't want to get involved. You're supposed to be a tank, right? Like, move up and do tank shit. No! Fuck you, smooth brain. I have the mortar. I'm gonna fucking use it. Who even gave the elephant a mortar? You're the tank. Move up to the front and draw fire. You're not even hitting him with that thing. Uh, no. Eat shit. Seriously. I want to use the mortar. Fuck the NPCs. And I'm pretty sure they're called acceptable casualties. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> oh, motherfucker. See? I hit the fucking building. You killed another NPC! Missing the assassins! You're not dealing any damage to the people that are doing damage to us. Yes. But now he has less cover, so maybe you guys can actually hit him. Will you stop being a piece of shit and move up? We are squishy, we are meant to deal the damage, and we cannot take hits from that thing's rifle. That was your entire build! Uh, no, I have the mortar. Fuck you, fuck the NPCs. God fucking damn it. And so they slogged through a battle with one enemy, unable to get close due to the booby traps and the bottlenecks making it difficult as hell to do so. Finally, after much NPC death, the assassin was dealt with. Somewhat. It was dead, by other people shooting it, because the mortar hadn't hit it once, and this led to... PvP. The problem was our tank was too tanky, and everyone's rolls were so low they never broke armor, but the tank also had no hit chance, so he just never hit anyone. This slap fest between our gunslinger and this Loxodon barbarian continued for about 15 minutes before the Loxodon ran away. The player, satisfied with themselves, decided now would be a great time to introduce a new character to the group. I somehow got them to fit in, then watched it quickly devolve in two sessions. This new character was a bard rogue multi-class that kept trying to shove his loot up people's butts. Normally a fun gag once. Maybe twice if everyone is in good spirits and it's a running joke, but he kept trying over and over, succeeding more than once due to great rolling and a high sleight of hand and stealth. After getting his shit kicked in, the player kinda just... left. 
No more loots up butts, no more mortars destroying apartments. The rest of the group continued through the game and it was pretty fun. Another video coming soon on the fourth dimensional chess that went on between two players, and trust me, it would make a great movie in itself. There are a lot of situations of that guy doing stuff like this in D&D. If you got any experiences, feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy hunting, adventurers.